For six years now, Lady Slipper Arts, Crafts, and Exposure have been getting cra the crafters of Park Rapids ready for the holidays with their annual craft fair. Reporter Sherelle Moore brings us into this year's show for this week's In Focus. Looking for some creative inspiration for the holiday season? Try checking out your own neighborhood. It's officially craft fair season in Minnesota. We went through quite a few of the vendors and we got some beautiful jewelry that's magnetic that goes around so it's real easy to take on or take off. I got some essential oils. The Winter Wonderland Craft Show in Park Rapids featured more than 20 vendors this year. Some of the vendors even came on special requests from the Park Rapids community. We have some unique and custom handcrafted treasures. Um, we also have a few direct salespeople um, who were requested from our shoppers. Um, so you'll find it is a one-stop shop. You can find just about anything in there for the holiday season. The craft fair also serves another purpose for the community. By shopping, attendees were also helping the local food shelf. Within um, the last um, few years, our admission has always gone towards food shelf. Um, if you bring in a canned item, um, within the last few years, we've, we're up to almost four to 500 pounds of food for them. Christmas may be coming, but before you know it, it'll be spring again. Luckily for fans, the Lace Craft Fair has you covered all year round. We may be going to a one-day show as we will be adding another one in March, and I look for it around the second week of March. A Lace Craft Fair will not be returning until March. But shoppers in our viewing area will have tons of opportunities to keep their craft fair schedule filled, with shows coming up in Bemidji, Turtle River, and Wadena. I'm pretty excited. I think it was kind of great to come to. I like to go to different craft fairs and that all over the place and um, different towns. And then if you yourself are a crafty person looking for a space to showcase your work, Lace is always looking for new vendors. If you're a crafter or an artisan, give me a call. We'll try and fit you in. We maintain um, unique um, items so that every vendor does well and we have a vast assortment. We have Zimmerman's contact information listed online with this story. Reporting in Park Rapids with this week's In Focus, Shrell Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.